Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and you're listening to Elevator Music Radio on WFRO. And let's play Final Fantasy XIII! Today, we've got these guys to take out. We're on the other side of that area where I was fighting the King Behemoth last time. So, uh, yeah, I would have done this yesterday, but, well, I figured I needed as much time for, to show off the King Behemoth as possible because, well, that's a pretty tough battle there. You know, he might have transformed, it might have taken longer, who knows. Now, to take on that huge freaking wyvern there, I want to have Com Comrav available. But really, the strategy is going to be pretty much the same thing as in that King Behemoth battle. If I can ever find the guy. There we go. Yeah, you just got to touch his shadow, and there's two of those flower guys with him too. So, so first things first. Okay, let's try that one again. There we go. The trick with this battle is the same thing as the other one. You basically want to use Rav Send Rav to uh, chain the flower guys while Snow is in Sentinel to keep them at bay. Once you got one of them staggered, switch to Com Send Rav, and you're in pretty good shape. Now this guy actually isn't a wyvern. I think he's called a Savarog or something like that. Uh, I don't know what language that is. But anyway, um, there we go. The thing that makes Svarog pretty challenging is that he has an attack called, uh, what is it, Feeding Stoop, that is essentially the same thing as Gatling Gun, except he doesn't charge up for it, there's no warning for it or anything like that. So you pretty much got to stay in Sentinel most of the time in order to be ready. Oh, damn it, the chain gauge stopped. Now I got to start over with that. Now let's try again. But yeah, um, so there's no warning for the feeding suit. You pretty much just gotta know the timing pretty well and do what you can with that. But uh, fortunately, I fought them enough, so I know when the timing happens. Or at least, I hope I do. If Snow dies, I don't care. I can always revive him later. There we go! Uh, yeah, I'll revive Snow. Vanille, for some reason, the AI... No. Revive Snow! There we go. For some reason, the AI pr prioritizes uh, healing uh, living characters than reviving dead ones. I don't know why that works that way. But anyway, let's lever this guy, make sure we are at full, and then we'll switch to... Okay, there we go. Wait for one more attack, I think, just in case. Okay, now we'll switch to Smart Bomb. Now, he is immune to D-Protect and D-Shell. So... What we want to do is at least get poison and imperil on him, and then we should be in pretty good shape. And I would like to stagger him before switching to uh, Sentinel again, if I can. Hopefully he will not use Feeding Stew. Uh, or, well, okay, that was kind of like it, but not exactly. Come on, get in peril. Vanille, why are you just sitting there? There we go. Okay, switch to Rav, send Rav now. Stay on Sentinel until he uses Feeding Suit, which eventually he will. But for right now, I want to stay on Sentinel, so that way, well, I'll be ready for it. Because now he's going to be using all those... This guy also uses some debuffs there to, uh, well, debuff you. So, but he'll always use it on the Sentinel if you stay on it long enough. Okay, there it is, Feeding Suit. Watch this. Yeah, you see that move there? That would have killed anyone if you were not on Sentinel there. He would have got. My, he prob, He usually seems to like going after lightning or whoever your leader is at the time for that. So use a sentinel to watch out for feeding stoop. Okay, I didn't quite get the five star rating, probably because I lost that chain gauge there. But you get the idea there. I mean, I, the chain chain gauge drained to zero on that one flower there, and you know what? I'm not going to re-record just for that. So whatever. You get the idea of how to take care of them. So that's how you can take care of them at a relatively low Crystarium level or without having invested in a lot of the really big abilities and stuff like that. By the way, someone was asking me, H.C. Bailey, what are you going to do with all those extra accessory slots once you get them? You got a nice Miller Lite, awesome. It's Miller time! But anyway, uh, like with uh, Vanille, she already got her third accessory slot, so I gave her the Sprint Shoes because everyone else is probably going to want Aurora Scarf Blessed Talisman and Morale Talisman, because these two can use both physical and magical attacks, whereas Vanille, she's not going to use physical attacks, so she has no use for a Morale Talisman, so I figure, let's give her the Sprint Shoes there. So, I changed my setup slightly just for that, but, uh, 
Okay, so we just gotta go over here. Uh, I remember this battle being really hard, but uh, well, now I know how to take care of it. So, are we on? Ra no, we're not on Raps and Raps. Yeah, this is the same battle that we had back there, so this will take a little while. Okay, I lied. There were three of those flowers this time around, not just the two, but essentially the same idea. It just took a lot longer, that's all. Oh, well. Someone was asking me, H.C. Bailey, why do the Foul Sea care about having their Sea take care of all these monsters around here? Oop, we gotta take care of these guys first. Well, anyway, I heard, like, I thought it was somewhere in the data logs. One of them said something about, like, the Pulse Foul Sea you know, had their people doing all these tasks and stuff like that, but the Cocoon Falci, in general, are pretty laid back. So, that's pretty cool. But apparently, I guess, not anymore. Yeah, there's some backstory and stuff about the Falci and whatever goes on here at Pulse, but honestly, most of that doesn't really fascinate me. So, okay, well, that's everything we can do on this side of the massif, so now we want to head down to that star there. That's where I came from over there, so I'll just meet you back at that uh, save point right there. Okay, we're back, and we're all set and ready to go. Invested some of my uh, Crystarium points, got some more ATB levels, so we're good to go. Now, as far as working my Crystarium goes, I'm having Vanille work on learning Fireaga and Blizzaga for Ravager, so I think that's the next top priority for her, because a lot of enemies are weak to fire and ice, so that's where we're going. Now we want to head on down here, but, well, where's the mission mark? Well, it's not here, it's, well, it's further down the road, so I'll just tell you right now. Yeah, this one kind of confused me the first time I did it too. They don't quite exactly lead you, hold your hand on this one. Fortunately, that's what you've got me for, viewers. I'll hold your hand. I want to hold your hand. I can't believe I just referenced that song. I think I know the lyrics for that song better in German than I do in English. My, my dad got a German CD of all those songs for my mom because well, she speaks German. She was from them. So, yeah, I don't know what the words mean. I just, you know, whenever I hear the song, I hear the... German lyrics, because my mom would play the CD a lot when I was a kid, so, eh, whatever. But anyway, yeah, we just gotta keep on going down the road. We can't quite move our uh, camera angle around here, but, well, it's good enough anyway. Whoa, another one of those wyverns. Yeah, we're gonna have to take him on by himself there this time. Uh, I think there's a chest, not to the right there, but further down here, yeah, we gotta take that guy out first, so... Let's use Saboteur to start it off with that. What I like to do when I'm fighting that guy alone is basically... Can I still get this chest? Who the hell is watching me? Some enemy has got his sights locked on me. Oh, another one of those freaking wyverns. Well, get over here! Come on. Get down here! Hey! Hey, get over here! Alright, and for defeating, I guess, the correct Wyvern this time, we get a Rune Grace. Alright. But anyway, I think I lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? Uh, oh yeah, taking on the Wyvern. Uh, af what I like to do is I like to get him... Uh, what is it? Yeah, I like to get him uh, debuffed and staggered, then switch to Rav Sen Rav, because that seems to be about when he likes to use feeding stew. Come on, turn around. There we go. Come on. Damn it. I thought I could uh, sneak up on them, but well, I was wrong. Oh, um, yeah, go after the hybrid flora there if you can. Oh, uh, yeah, I should have used a... You know what? Let's start over. I screwed up. You know what? I'm just going to leave this in. But, uh, yeah, we want to take out the little guys first there. Let's try that one again, guys. There we go. Yeah, take out the little guys. Then we'll deal with the new clan guy who's, I guess, he's a little bigger this time around. Guess it's a bumper crop this year, as Saz would say. I wonder what Saz would say. Everyone has, like, little different quotes for 
this area or all the different areas that we go to around in Pulse. But, well, I don't really feel like, uh, you know, changing my party members all the time like that. Let's uh, get uh, that on him. There we go. And as you can see, he's immune to some buffs or some debuffs. I would like to get D-Shell and Imperil on him if I can, or at least D-Shell, and then get him staggered. And you can't launch him, because if you saw in that picture there, he's immune to physical attacks, so that won't quite work. But I can use Ruin on him to get a bit of extra damage there. What is he weak to? Oh, well, I can't tell what he's weak to because I got in peril on him. So, oh well. I, the only thing I change with my paradigms right now is I'm using, um, instead of med send med, I'm using comrav med. But that's the only thing that's really different for right now. So, all right, there we go. So yeah, that's, that's the correct way of taking him out. Sometimes I screw up and I edit out my mistakes, but, well, you guys like seeing me suffer usually for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, uh, yeah, we want to use Rav Send Med Rav for this one. If I can catch them. You know what? I just realized you actually can stagger those hybrid floor guys, but you got to do it with the... Er, not stagger, launch them. You got to use uh, that Aurora, Aroga, whatever it was. But anyway, as you, you might have seen down there, there was a uh, Seath mission there, but you can only take on one mission at a time. Well, there's a sea stone down there, so yeah, we got we still got to take care of mission four, and we're almost there. All right, but I just wanted to take the upper path to uh, I'll do that, and uh, uh, you know what? I don't think I have time to show this, so I'll show it next time, I guess. But just in case I change my mind, I'll leave it in here just because. So. Okay, so. But uh, these guys are actually very easy, especially if you get a preemptive strike on them. But uh, yeah, no real elemental weakness or, or any. Well, yeah, they do have elemental weakness. Okay, I was thinking of one of their cousins that we meet up with later. But uh, well, these guys are reasonably simple enough. Just use Comrade Rav, and that's pretty much all you got to do. Okay, there we go. Let's see, to get to where the mission objective is, or the mark, we gotta head on up here. I think I'm in the right place. I hope I am. How are these things staying up on the mountain there? Well, anyway, for this battle, I want to get Com Comrade, and I definitely want a preemptive strike. Do I have that set up? Okay, good. So, these guys do not have very much uh, peripheral vision, so I should be able to sneak up on them if he will turn around. Come on, turn around! And these guys even have the little wooden pegs for the legs. No, no, you see? Ah, yeah, they were trying to fake me out. Try this one again. Get over there! Damn it. Okay. Try that one again. Oh, if I can... How do I... Oh, there we go. It's like, how do I get up there? Okay, come on. Yes! Got it! Okay, there we go. For boss time! Once you get the uh, preemptive strike on them, then you want to use Com Comrab actually, because you'll attack two different targets and use Libra or Quake on them. There we go. And then use a Libra Scope on them because even though the Adroas are the uh, mark for the mission here, there's actually two other new enemies uh, called Vertilettes, and they're both relatively the same thing actually. But uh, they, they use really powerful magic, and they will kill you by summoning other guys, too. So just use, uh, get a preemptive strike for this one, and then pretty much go all out with Com Com Rav, and you should be in pretty good shape. You should be able to take out four or five of them. There were six of them originally. There might be more by now. I don't know. Yeah, he's trying to summon someone. Stay away from the summoner by killing him. Then it'll be pretty easy to stay away from That's them. How it's done. Maybe put a restraining order on them. All right, got him. So anyway, there's that save point by the uh, mission by the Seath Stone there that I passed up on the way here. So I'll just meet you on over there, and then we'll pick up mission five next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 13. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day. Yeah, I'll just meet you back at that save point right there.